Thousands of Coloradans are still filing for unemployment every week. But we are seeing those numbers decline steadily and significantly. The latest numbers from the state labor department show last week nearly 4,500 unemployment claims were filed. While that may sound like a lot, we've been seeing a steady decline in those filings since the start of April. The claims filed for the week ending May 1st were actually less than half of the claims filed for the week ending April 3rd. A clear indicator of Colorado reopening. And despite ongoing unemployment, some companies have been seen some growth during this pandemic and as the world reopens they are preparing for even more growth. Jeff Todd checking in with them tonight. Jeff you first told us about this company a year ago and now they've had a record year of growth. Karen, some departments have tripled in size. This is a company that started out in the 90s focusing on hygiene in hospitals, but now because of the pandemic, all kinds of industries want these automated hand washing machines. And as people head back to big offices, this company could see even more growth. These are automated hand hygiene systems, or they're called clean tech systems. This is double the size of production than Maritech had before the pandemic. They've hired more staff to build more devices because business is booming. You know, over 200% growth. We tripled the size of our sales team. When the wiring and construction are complete, the Colorado company says they're the only ones in the world who can do something like this. The photo eye detects your hands, and then the cycle starts. You have a countdown timer on the display counting down from 12 to 0. And that's it. 99.9% .9 of harmful pathogens removed in those 12 seconds. The high tech automated hand washers are now inside restaurants, schools, even the Pittsburgh airport. It's a great place for it. Um, they finish security, they have a chance to wash their hands, then they go to the terminal. The company hopes an emphasis on cleanliness and health will continue. People really understand one of the biggest vulnerabilities is relying on the human to do it correctly every single time. We take that away. The business is also growing here in Colorado. There are a number of facilities and distribution centers that are using these devices. Part of the reason that the production team has had to double here, they've also added to their nationwide maintenance team. We're live in Golden tonight. Jeff Todd covering Colorado first.